Imagine the thrill of soaring through the sky as Iron Man blasts back waves of invading aliens. Feel the raw power of Wolverine's adamantium claws ripping through enemy hordes. Stand alongside Captain America, a shield of unwavering justice against impossible odds. This year, Marvel games are upping the ant. We're talking epic adventures that will leave you breathless, jaw-dropping battles that push your reflexes to the limit, and stories that put you in the heart of the Marvel Universe. In the year 2023, Marvel Snap emerged as one of the top titles in the mobile sector, while Insomniac's Spider-Man 2 proved to be a wonderful addition to a series that is already very popular. Both of these developments made 2023 a successful year for fans of Marvel video games. Fans of the comic book characters look to have an even brighter future ahead of them, given the fact that there are a great number of further Marvel-based video games currently in production, and that it is possible that some of these projects may have an official release in the year 2024. As a consequence of this, 2024 may not see many Marvel game releases, but it could still be just as exciting if any of the planned games offer fans of the franchise major upgrades. When it comes to information surrounding upcoming Marvel games, the most significant secret is the recent attack that Insomniac faced, which disclosed sensitive data about its employees and future ambitions. This is now the most secretive information. Although the information included in this leak may be subject to change, Insomniac has said that it is committed to carrying out the development of titles that are now in the planning stages, such as Marvel's Wolverine. As a result of this leak, the waters around potential announcements and releases from the developer in 2024 have been muddled, which has led to some speculation over what gamers could expect from them in the next year. We will start with Marvel's Wolverine. The announcement of Spider-Man 2 was made by Insomniac in September of 2021, but the company has one more surprise in store for us. It was also stated at the same time that a video game based on Wolverine was now in the process of being created. Given the amount of acclaim that Insomniac's Spider-Man games have received, it is easy to understand how expectations have built up for the potential of a Wolverine hack-and-slash type game that is both excellent and enjoyable. Up to this moment, it seemed like the game was aiming for a release in 2025 that would be exclusive to the PlayStation 5. However, as a result of a data breach that occurred not too long ago, a substantial quantity of information about Insomniac's next projects was just disclosed. According to the leak, Wolverine may release further content somewhere around the year 2026. The leak also revealed details about a number of additional potential Marvel video games that Insomniac may be working on. These games ranged from obvious projects like Spider-Man 3 to unexpected ones like Venom and X-Men games. Now we will discuss Marvel's Spider-Man 3. This one is not officially confirmed, but considering the post-credits tease that was shown in Spider-Man 2, it is very certain that there will be a third installment in the saga of the wall crawler. Insomniac has confirmed that Miles Morales will be the main Spider-Man in their future games. This is an intriguing development, considering that the third game is expected to include Otto Octavius collaborating with Norman Osborn, also known as the Green Goblin. It should not come as a surprise that Spider-Man 3 will be released before the PlayStation 6 is released, given the trajectory and exceptional production cadence of Insomniac Studio. This one may be given the Miles Morales treatment, which would help bridge the gap between the present generation and the one that will come after it. Next, we have Marvel's Blade. There was only a recent announcement made at the Game Awards about this game, which is Arcane Leon's most recent project. In 2021, Arcane Leon published its last game, Deathloop, which received a lot of positive feedback from critics. The Dishonored series was the primary vehicle via which the company garnered prominence during the 2010s prior to the release of Deathloop. It will be more than intriguing to see what Arcane Leon creates for a Blade video game given the outstanding track record they have put up over the course of the last 10 years. One thing is certain, if nothing else, it will be a more successful entry into the world of vampire-based video games than Arcane Austin's Redfall. Blade is going to be experienced from a third-person perspective, in contrast to Arcane Leon's last several releases. There has been no announcement made on the platforms that will be used for the game as of yet. However, considering that Microsoft is the owner of Bethesda Softworks, it is reasonable to presume that Marvel's Blade will be available exclusively on Xbox and PC. Now we will talk about Marvel's Iron Man, the announcement that Motive Studio was working on a single-player, action-adventure Iron Man game was made by Electronic Arts in September of last year. Motive Studio's Dead Space remake was launched in January of this year, and it received a lot of positive feedback from critics. 
A month following the release of Dead Space Remake, Marvel's Iron Man began development in its entirety. Additionally, Motive Studio was responsible for the development of Star Wars Squadron, and Olivia Prulks is now serving as an executive producer for Marvel's Iron Man. During his time at Eidos Montreal, Prulks was responsible for producing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Despite the fact that the launching of that game was hampered by the lackluster release of Marvel's Avengers the year before, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy was a game that was really exceptional. The first of numerous new games that are going to be produced as a result of a partnership between Marvel and Electronic Arts is going to be Marvel's Iron Man. Another game is Black Panther, another game that is expected to be produced as a result of the partnership between Marvel and Electronic Arts is the Black Panther video game. Although there is not yet an official title for the game, Cliff Anger Games, a brand new company, is currently working on producing it. The formal announcement of the game was made in July, although there is not a lot of information available regarding the game. In reference to the game, Kevin Stevens, the president of Cliff Hanger Games, said that our mission is to develop an epic world for players who love Black Panther and want to explore the world of Wakanda as much as we do. Cliffhanger Games is a relatively young company. It has been said that the team at Cliffhanger Games that will be working on this Black Panther game is comprised of industry veterans who have previously worked on games such as Halo, Call of Duty, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and God of War. Next on our list is Untitled Skydance Marvel Game. The Marvel game that is currently in development is a World War II set game that is currently unnamed and focuses on a cast of characters that can be engaged in gameplay. The fact that Amy Hennig is involved in the game's development alongside the up-and-coming firm Skydance New Media is perhaps the most notable aspect of the game. The job of creative director and writer that Hennig played in the first three Uncharted games is ultimately what brought her the greatest fame. Despite the fact that the game does not yet have a title, it is known that it will take place during the Second World War, and that players will have the ability to switch between playing the role of Captain America, played by Steve Rogers, and one of his Howling Commandos or Black Panther. However, due to the fact that this game takes place in another world, the Black Panther who will be featured in this game will not be T'Challa, but rather his grandpa, Ezuri. Players will also have the opportunity to take control of a Wakandan spy. Lastly, we will discuss Amy Hennig's Marvel game. Amy Hennig, one of the creative geniuses behind Naughty Dog's Uncharted series, which are widely considered to be among the finest adventure games of all time, is working with Skydance Media to produce a narrative-driven adventure. Despite the fact that Skydance Media has not yet decided on a title for their next Marvel video game, we do know that it will take place during World War II and will revolve on a group of heroes working together. You will have the opportunity to take on the role of Steve Rogers, who is still in the beginning stages of his career as Captain America, Gabriel Jones, who is a member of the Howling Commandos, Black Panther, who is Azuri, T'Challa's grandfather, and Nanali, who is the chief of the Wakandan spy network. We can't wait to find out more about this mystery future Marvel game, which seems like a pulpy crime noir adventure just waiting to happen. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Feel free to leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below.